Om Shanti to everyone and a very, very warm welcome to our Madhuban program and actually a very warm welcome to Madhuban itself. We know we can't go physically, but I've just found that these special programs have really given us the experience of being in Madhuban and being connected. Because after all, even when you're in Madhuban, it's the subtle connection that really counts. And so Baba's giving us that opportunity to really develop that deep, subtle connection. And when the time comes for us to again visit Madhuban physically, which I'm sure she, we all will do, we will feel even more connected to Madhuban, to Baba, to each other. And we've had beautiful programs, haven't we? We've looked at the beautiful Golden Age, we've had a tour of Madhuban and the pilgrimage places, we've done the Pasya, had Bhattis, and now it's the month of January. And so it's the month of Dapasya, and it's the month to follow Father Brahma. And the overall theme for the program is, of course, Baba's three words, the mantra that he left us with before he departed from the physical realm. And the three w words we all know, be viceless, be egoless, be incorporeal. Baba was telling us of the highest stage we all need to reach. And our theme for today is cultivating Vice being the stage of being viceless, the sweetness of divine action. And what better person could there be to bring us this theme and to share his experience on this theme than our very own dear brother Nirvair? And of course, many of us have known Nirvair from the time when we were very, very young in Gyan and made our first visits to Madhuban. And we all know how much he really took time, especially to sustain the double foreigners, to be with us. I remember one special moment when he would see that I used to worry about things. So he took me into his office and he said to me, you know what I do if I get any worry? And it was the winter months and, you know, he would wear that sort of cloth hat and he'd say, well, if I get any worry, I take off my hat, I put it on the table and I say to myself, what's there to worry about? Nothing. And then I put the hat back on and off I go. And I always remember that. But he's a yogi of so many decades of experience, but very importantly, he lived and worked with Brahma Baba, knew Brahma Baba deeply. And so when we think about following the Father, he's someone who has really made that effort to follow in the Father's footsteps. And so he's here with us today to take us on a journey to remind us of what that stage really is of being viceless and of the sweetness of divine action. So I now leave it to our brother Niver to share with all of us Om Shanti.
ओम शांति अव्यक्त बाप दादास वेरी स्पेशल इनवेल्युएबल सर्विसेबल sisters and brothers from all over the globe if you were in madhuban for the double foreigner season i would have met you face to face here so i decided to share with you my divine insight and some experiences on the subject of cultivating being voiceless the sweetness of divine actions these two aspects would be considered as two sides of the same coin unless we decide to become voiceless you cannot taste the sweetness of divine actions because voicelessness is the basis of inculcation of divinity in our consciousness in our speech in our drishti in our practical life it takes quite some time to make very subtle efforts on upgrading our level of consciousness and what i have found from my own experience when i am all by myself i just look at bap dada's picture slowly going into the depth of my thought of togetherness in the subtle regions you may call it going into angelic stage and i keep my concentration the focus is all the time on bap dadas nearness and observation of the pure vibrations engulfing me 
from Bab Dada's side. I continue to review my own self, my own stage over the years. I have found that the more of external purity and then purity of consciousness, purity of thought, purity of vision, all this helps in directing our efforts to remain closely connected with our Supreme Parents in the subtle regions or slowly going beyond certain regions in the soul world. The Supreme Being, Shiv Baba, and the most valuable instrument for world transformation, Brahma Baba, both together as shining stars, or guiding lights empowering not just myself but showering their light and might from that highest region Paramdham and directing their light and might towards each one of his children, divine children in particular, those who have recognized the existence of the Supreme Soul through the medium of Brahma Baba, and who have accepted unlimited blessings from the Supreme Being. So when we continue to observe internally, and appreciate it in our hearts. The joy of that nearness, the beauty of being together with the highest of high, and to receive their blessings for making us great instruments for world transformation. The more I think of being with Baba in the soul world, the 
light in my own being, spiritual being, continues to magnify. My aspiration is always, as per Bap Dada's blessings, that I should enjoy, I should appreciate, I should live as a flawless source of that God's light and might. I wonder it takes time, it takes effort, it takes little subtle tuning of the self and determination. Without determination, we cannot hold on to that eternal spiritual source of light and might. And for that, as per Bab Dada's signals, it would be nice just to appreciate the beauty of that experience. Unlimited flow of God's love being experienced by the self and transformation that is taking place within the self. It's a very subtle subject. It's a very subtle experience. It's very difficult to put it in words. But when we go into that experience. I have enjoyed just seeing myself very close to Bhapta in, in, in corporeal form or in subtle form. And all the time feeling intoxication, super sensuous joy, and I have found the more time I keep enjoying this through concentrated effort making regularly. Then only I see the progress, the progress of the self as flawless diamond, or you can say very beautiful, bright, source of spiritual light and might. The words fail sometimes to express those beautiful moments when the self enjoys the nearness the beauty of nearness of the Supreme Being 
and our ideal Brahma Baba soul. When we practice this, as I understand, without any other effort, it's like self-cleansing. The thought of negativity evaporates, goes away. It doesn't stay with us. There are people who may question this. They can. It's their right. It's my personal experience and your personal experience. You can see the, the beauty of total soul consciousness and total nearness with our Supreme Parents. Determination, as I shared, is the basis of having the highest aim in life. When we have stepped on the path of spiritual learning, I'm sure each one of us gets inspired to reach the highest peak of the mountain. Then only we can fly God's flag up there. <clears throat> so my dear sisters and brothers, it would be so beautiful to spend some time reflecting on the very thought and that thought becoming our experience. Let's go into the experience. Visualize yourselves. to be in the subtle regions to start with looking in the eyes of Avyakta Bhav Dada and perceiving Baba's loving vibrations, making us feel the beauty of God's love. People just say God is love, love is God, but practically through this effort one can enjoy 
in the angelic world. And from angelic experience, disrobing, leaving the robes of subtle body and just as the brightest stars returning to our sweet home of silence Just imagine when we all are there in the soul world floating very close to the most powerful spiritual beings, Supreme Father, God Shiva, and the corporeal medium of the Supreme, Brahma Baba, both the souls with 99.999% nearness of the stage of purity, stage of peace, stage of light and might. In their company, Through the practice, regular practice and determination as Baba wants us to follow Father, follow the footsteps of the first man, Brahma Baba, to reach that stage, nearness to God. To some, it may sound very ambitious, but as per Baba's signals, Baba's directions, we should aim for the highest stage. Bap Saman, like Father. So like Father, Brahma Baba remained attuned to Sri Baba in such a way we could always feel those vibrations, very subtle, very pure, very loving, very inspiring very uplifting all the time. And we always love to receive Baba's drishti. And Baba would remain deeply, deeply immersed in Shiv Baba's love. And that could be seen from Baba's lips, from Baba's eyes. So let's think, we are like Father, we go beyond through the third eye of our wisdom, we visualize the self as a being of pure divine light pure diamond
beside the most loving lights of Shiv Baba and Brahma Baba. Just feel the joy of their company in soul consciousness and supreme consciousness. This will help. again and again, bringing us to that nearness of our cherished, so, cherished goal. Once we have decided to tread this path of spirituality, as shown to us directly by the Supreme Father through Brahma Baba, of course. We are so fortunate from among the seven billion souls, we are not very many. When Baba speaks about the rosary of eight or hundred eight or sixteen thousand one hundred eight, we feel inspired. We are one of them who reach that stage. And this is the most opportune time, most valuable age of confluence of Iron Age and Golden Age, which we understand from Baba's versions, it is Diamond Age, because Baba makes us feel that we are like the most, most valuable, flawless diamonds in Baba's Rosary. The depth of the feelings and the depth of observation, the depth of perception, the depth of reflection continues to be deeper or higher and higher as we continue our practice. Every time when we meditate, the thought comes Let's go. Let's feel the beauty of that greatest relationship of the Self and the Supreme. We never imagined even, we never thought about it, we never heard from anyone this could happen and now we are able to share the very valuable experience with everyone it happens 
इट हैपन्स एट दिस मोस्ट ऑस्पिशियस टाइम ऑफ कॉन्फ्लुएंस एज एंड वी आर द मोस्ट फॉर्चुनेट चोजन वंस द बीड्स ऑफ रोजरी द जूल्स ऑफ रोजरी सो प्लीज enjoy let's re regain our lost paradise real paradise paradise where there is 100% pure consciousness 100% purity in life 100% beauty of life. all the riches whatever one can think of they are there but one most valuable richness is the richness of our nearness of relationship with our supreme parents there is nothing more than that there is no need to think even that there could be something more than that so let's be bap dada's very special sweet children always so close to bap dada and bab dada are very proud of all of us his obedient children we have been guided by the supreme wisdom of the supreme father shri mat so shri mat when followed in the right way in thought in vision in actions it makes us great the feeling is so great and because of that our consciousness is expanded the entire globe gets covered with our pure vibrations the entire humanity receives our blessing full vibrations remain in that consciousness of being bestowers bestowers of pure feelings pure love and pure sentiments
So may you enjoy your new year with the newness of our consciousness, with the newness of our efforts, with the newness of our change in attitudes and with the newness of becoming pure and loving towards every human being and nature. May Bap Dada shower their golden pet petals on all of you so that you can enjoy your festival season in the name of Christmas and have diamond-like new beginnings in the new year. Thanks and congratulations to every one of you for being Baba's very special instruments of world transformation. Thank you. Om Shanti. A big thank you to Brother Nevere for that beautiful sharing. Thank you for taking us on a journey, reminding us of the special relationship with both fathers, of reminding us of the respect, the self-respect of our original stage. And of course, as we listen to you, it's not just words, of course, but you really take us into the depth of that experience. So thank you again. And so now let us together experience that stage. Let us spend some time in meditation together. Om Shanti. I first remember who I am. I bring myself into that stage of soul consciousness. of being, that tiny point of light, so bright, so beautiful, and as I do this, my mind becomes totally calm. I'm in that state of concentration, 
of soul consciousness. And I'm free. Free to go beyond. To take the journey in a second to the subtle region to become light, lighter and lighter until I feel that I'm no longer in a body of flesh and bones but it really feels like I am in my own angelic body of light. And I come in front of Baba. Bap Dada together. And I look into Baba's eyes and experience Baba's drishti. That drishti is the drishti of love, is the drishti of blessings. is the drishti that makes me belong totally to the one. I'm lost in Baba's drishti. Everything else is forgotten. Just me and my Baba. And that Drishti takes me beyond to my home to the place of complete silence the incorporeal stage of total silence and total power. I'm here with Shiv Baba. the very highest being of all eternity. It's as if there is no separation between the incorporeal soul and my incorporeal Baba. I'm filled with Baba's light 
a might. And I know what it is that Baba wants of me. Baba wants me to become a lighthouse, a might house. To be an instrument for those rays of light and might. to reach the world. The vibrations reach out and out and out into the world. Crossing barriers and boundaries touching every soul. Healing the hearts full of sorrow. Uplifting those in despair. giving them hope that there is someone there for me. As the rays reach out, I see the world enveloped in light, a web of light holding our precious planet and all those who inhabit it, all the people, all the creatures, all of nature held in God's light. And gradually, I make the return journey to my body, to my surroundings. And I know that
when I'm filled with Baba's light and might. Every thought, every word, every action becomes divine. I enjoy the sweetness of divine action in my life. Thank you all so much for being with us and Om Shanti. बस तू है मेरे पास यहाँ और मैं हूँ तेरे पास तेरी नगरी में आकर भगवन हो रहा सुखद एहसास तेरी नगरी में आकर सुखद एहसास करे सारा जग जिनको याद करे 